Hello everybody, Jim Burns, Pro Staffer with Quaker Boy. Here to talk a little bit about call maintenance again today. Um, I'm going to talk specifically about the pot calls and strikers. We're here in Virginia, it's a couple months before season, so it's time to kind of look through your calls, get them ready, check for uh, damage, check your inventory for numbers, in case you got to go buy another one. You always got, never have enough good calls in your pocket. Um, today again, the pot calls, pretty easy to check these out. You want to look at your pots, again, for cracks or anything you might have damaged during this hunting season last year, and you're going to look at your strikers. Um, this is our full tilt slate, pretty easy. I use a scotch Pride pad. Again, to just to kind of rough that surface up, all right? Big thing with pot calls when you're doing that, whether you use a really light sandpaper or the scotch Bright on our slates, you want to go in the same direction back and forth. Do not go circular like that because you want to get a good strike surface, okay? This is our rim shot glass. This you can use sandpaper on this glass. Again, you want to go in the same direction back and forth. Don't go around and around or in circles, okay? That keeps that in good shape. You can blow out a little bit. Again, try to keep your fingers off of them because you've got oils in your hands. That'll kind of affect the call and if your striker slides on the, on, on the slate or on the glass. As far as your strikers go, again, scotch Bright. these will gum up after a while. They'll get uh, pieces of glass in them and the slate. So you can take the scotch Bright's the best thing. Again, you don't want to try to use sandpaper too much on your, on your pegs. It tends to put flat spots on them or change that integrity, again, in, in how they were manufactured. So again, the scotch Bright. Just to clean them up a little bit, get some of that dirt off of them, uh, chalk that might be on them, dust, um, just to do that. Real easy to do, and your pegs are all in good shape. Uh, and that's it. So you're all set. You take care of them. Uh, put them in your pockets the way they need to be, or in pouches to protect them. Uh, and your slate should be good, and your, your pot call should be in good shape. So that's your Quaker Boy tip on pot call maintenance. Good luck. Have a great season.